Hi guys, in this video we will do some simple tests to evaluate the limit of dynamic active state shot on Sony ZV-E1. I will use different focal lengths and try to walk, pan and rotate the camera. I think this will help you decide what kind of lens you are going to pair with the camera to get smooth movement. For a walking test, apart from at 20mm where I used the Viltrox 20mm f2.8, all the other footages were shot with the Tamron 28-200mm to f2.8-5.6. to 5.6. At the wide-angle side, you've got nothing to worry about. It's gimbal-like smooth, and I think up until 35mm, the footage still looks alright as long as you walk carefully. But at 50mm and above, it starts to get very shaky for walking. But I guess it's alright because I can hardly imagine anyone using more than 50mm to walk with the camera. For a panning test, I'll stop for a while every time I reach the target object, so you can also see how the stabilization works for a still shot. You may notice that even when my hand has stopped moving, there's still a slight buffering in the camera's footage. This is where stabilization is proving useful. I think it still looks pretty good, even at the telephoto end. Maybe not gimbal smooth, but highly usable in my opinion. I think rotating shot is the most tricky movement among the three tests because you have to move your body and hands at the same time while targeting at an object. According to my experience, 50mm is probably the limit, but of course I believe it can go further if you use some stabilization post-processing tools. I hope this video helps you decide which focal length is more suitable for your video making. Dynamic Active State Shot is the feature that I enjoy the most on ZV-E1. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I believe you know how much I hate using Catalyst Browse. But how steady the footage looks depends not only on the camera's stabilization function, it also takes some practicing so that you can find a better way to handle the camera. Leave a comment to let me know if you still have any questions about dynamic active steady shot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.